Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi and today we're going to do a very relaxing routine. Gene routine or restorative yoga routine. So are you ready for this routine? You need a bolster because it will help you to release your back. In case that you don't have a bolster, I recommend that to use one of the mats, roll it so it gets firm, and then just put a lot of blankets around to make it more comfy. Just make sure that you have something strong in the middle so it won't sink and it will help you to release. But I found like a to do these poses, the restorative yoga poses are very helpful. More when your energy is too low, when your body is sore, even if you have suffered from chronic pain, myself suffer from chronic pain. So for me, it's fantastic to do these routines with a bolster. So are you ready? So we're going to start. We're going to lie down. If you do it by yourself, these routines, remember... And use a timer with any application in your phone who is going to um, beep. Uh, you can make intervals, so it's going to beep every time you need to change, so then you know exactly how many minutes are you doing in each pose. For this video, I'm going to do only one minute on each pose, but remember you can hold for three, four minutes as much as you want. Be sure that for this class you put a nice music in the background, you put your incense, your aromatherapy, whatever you want it to really help you to relax more. Are you ready? So we're going to lie down on our back. And from here, we're going to move our bolster under the hips. And we're just going to relax here our hips. We're going to lift the right foot, the left foot, and we're just going to rest on child pose. Let me just start with my timer. So remember, we're going to hold a minute each pose. So we're going to hold here, resting your hands on your legs, relax your body. It's important that here we're going to completely relax. And anytime we're going to keep scanning our body, feel the tension in some areas. Make sure that always you feel comfy and your hips are really rested onto the bolster. Again, if you feel any tension, any discomfort, Find a way to release it using your breath or maybe moving a little bit your body. You know, give a little rocking and a little movement to release the tension. We're going to stay here completely relaxed. And any time that you feel that your arms doesn't feel comfy in this position, you can drop it on the ground. You always need to follow your body. But at the moment, if it's comfy, just keep them at the top of the legs. So it's going to create more pressure of your legs onto your tummy. And we just hold here. Now from here, we're going to gently release your arms, drop your feet onto the ground, and we're just going to stay on the bridge. We're going to move the arms over your head. Let me just keep this timer again. And we're just going to rest here for the minute. Again, feel your feet flat on the ground. Anytime you might feel certain discomfort, you can move your body. Anything you need to do, make sure that you listen your body when it wants to release. Completely rest the weight of your body on the ground, but just gently keep your tummy in. So we have certain control of our body. And we just let gravity stretch completely our body. We focus in our breathing. This is the most important part of this type of yoga. That we keep full concentration in our breath. Our body might to get distracted. Our mind might to get distracted. That's okay. Now we're going to bend the knees, lift your feet, and we're going to open our knees. The child pose, but now with the knees open. You can keep your hands at the top of your legs under your knees, whatever is more comfy. I feel more comfy under the knees so you can rest your elbows on the ground. And we just relax here, everybody. And always try to be aware of your right and your left side. That we balance right and left side. Be aware of your face, everybody. That your face is completely relaxed.
And we just breathe, feeling the stretch in your back, in your spine, in your glutes. And feel how as much as we hold the stretch, your body expand, relax, and release. Now from here, we're going to move our knees together. We're going to lift the head, take a deep breath. And then we drop our feet onto the ground. We back to the bridge, but this time we're going to lift our leg, right leg, and we're just going to flex and point. Flex and point. We try to go gently, so in that way, we can release our leg, take our time. You can keep your arms just beside you, or you can move them again over your head. If it's not comfy, this position of your arms, you can open them beside your shoulders. And we keep going. Flex, point. Flex, point. Flex. Good. Oh, it feels great. We can feel the stretch of the leg. It can, doesn't have to be fully bent. You can cover the slightly bent just to release. That's great. Just hold here just a few minutes more. Or if you get tired, just have a break. Stay with the leg up. Keep your tummy in. We focus in our breath. And then we release. We change the leg. And the same, flex, point. All these exercises, they are very slow and we keep them for longer. It helps us to really observe our body, have a deep connection with our body. And the most important is completely relax and stretch our body without effort. We focus in our breathing. And we keep going there. It feels good. You can keep your leg fully straight or you can keep it slightly bent. It doesn't really matter. And we just hold it here. If you get tired of this movement of the foot, it's okay. You can stop and just keep the leg up. If you need to drop the foot, it's fine as well. And then we're going to bend the knee. We're going to lift both legs. And we're just going to go on to a happy baby pose. So open your knees wider, sole of the feet facing upwards. You can catch your feet, or you can just press your legs by moving your hands on your thighs. And try both. Like uh, you first start with the hands here, then you move them. The only important is that we keep the sole of the feet facing upwards, and your heels are above your knees. Balance your right and left side, and we just rest here, breathing. Again, if you have your music, your aromatherapy, just enjoy it. And hold here, focusing your breathing. Mm, feels good. And try to use your deep breath. Anytime you can exhale through your mouth, to release the tension. Great, everybody. Now we move our knees together. We drop our feet one at a time on the ground. Extend your legs, and if you feel comfy, move your arms overhead. We're just going to stretch here. Breathe in deep. And breathe out. And again, and out. It feels so good, isn't it? You really feel the stretch without forcing. Keep your deep breath, observe your breath. Release any tension you might feel in your body. And find that the stillness and quietness in your body, but also in your mind. We bend the legs, everybody. 
we're gonna lift the feet we're gonna go back again child pose Let's squeeze your legs this time we're gonna lift the head just to go a little bit deeper we take four breaths here breathe in out if you feel you need to hold your head it's okay let's go for two and just one more now drop your head and we're going to extend the legs towards the ceiling you can keep them slightly bent if you feel it's too much for you you can hold your legs if not you can keep your arms on the ground or over your head or beside your shoulders and we just balance again right and left side let's hold here one minute focusing your breathing here it's important that we still have that engagement of our tummy to help us to control more your legs position breathe in a scan your body you might find some difference between the right and the left side that's okay that's why we're doing these exercises to help us to balance our body you can move your arms overhead if you feel it's too much for you breathe in and breathe out Breathe in, and out. It feels so good. After a while, you just completely connect with your body and you really forget the world. And that's what you need. Sometimes just give you a few minutes to disconnect from the world and connect with yourself. We're going to bend the legs and we're going to repeat the back bend. So we drop the right foot, left foot, Extend your legs and your arms. And again, you just breathe. Always keep the awareness in your body which areas you might feel tense, tight. And we use the breath to release. I feel the stretch in our body. And we try to feel our whole body from toes to head. Anytime we get distracted or disturbed, it's fine. We move our attention onto our breath. Extend your legs and your arms. Now we're going to do our last stretch. So we bend the knees, we lift the feet, and we move the knees close to our tummy. And we hug the legs. This time we feel lovely stretch in our whole spine. Remember that the squeezing of the legs against the tummy helps to stimulate the digestive system, the endocrine system. So it's like acupressure. With pressure, we stimulate blood circulation. Be aware of your face, that your face is completely relaxed. Relax your shoulders. And open your chest. Oh, it feels fantastic. After a while, you completely lose yourself. That's why I say it's good to write these exercises. Keep it in your notebook. And then anytime you can practice, just remember to have something like that in the phone to help you to come to the time. That's great. And then we're going to gently drop our feet onto the ground. Lift your pelvis, release your block. Open your arms, drop your knees towards to the right side, let the right leg completely rest on the floor, move your face opposite direction, and we're just going to rest here. Remember that these exercises, you can rest, hold them for one minute, two minutes, four minutes, and then we can feel more the release in our body. And completely rest here. And make sure that your face is moving to the opposite direction of your legs. Back to center, everybody. Drop your knees other side. 
if you face opposite direction of your legs. Wow! It's great! Simple things that we can do and it's going to improve so much our mobility, but the most important, simple things that help us to release stress, release tension in our body. Give you a deep breath, everybody. And smile to yourselves because you did something fantastic today for you. Back to the starting pose, everybody. And from here, lift your feet, move your hands under the knees, lift the head and rocking power forward to move on to the sitting pose. If your hair is messy, that means you are completely relaxed. Well done, everybody. You want to repeat the whole routine, you can come back to the beginning, or you can write it, and then practice anytime. We're going to say goodbye with the last three breaths just to waking us up. Breathe in, arms up. Breathe out. Again, breathe in. And out. just one more. Breathe in. And out. hands back, pray position. And we say namaste. Thank you for joining me. And remember that you can always save this routine. Where is your favorite to practice again? You can follow as well my courses in my website, sacredbodystudio.ie. You can start with the 10 days free trail to improve your yoga poses, learn more deep in yoga. And we have progressive courses there. So we'll guide us step by step until advanced poses. Thank you very much for joining us.